Google has introduced an easier way to issue complicated or long commands to your Google Home speaker. It's calling the new feature shortcuts, and it's sort of like a text expander for your voice. Here's how to make your own Google Home shortcuts. When texting from your phone, you may not always want to type out on my way. So you might create a text replacement where you type OMW instead, and when you hit space, it expands to the full text. Shortcuts for Google Home work very similarly by allowing you to say a short phrase instead of a long, convoluted command. Rather than saying, OK Google, turn off all the lights, you might just want to say, OK Google, good night. Or if Google Home has trouble finding a certain song unless you ask for it in a very specific way, you might want to say, OK Google, play my favorite song instead. You can also just use shortcuts to make commands feel more natural or easier to say. To create a shortcut, open Google Home and tap the hamburger button in the top left to expand the menu. Select More Settings, then scroll down and tap Shortcuts. Google preloaded eight example shortcuts to give you an idea of how you might want to use them. Tap on any of them to edit or press the plus sign in the bottom right to create a new shortcut. If you've created any IFT applets for Google Assistant, the setup will look quite familiar. Type a short phrase that you want to use for the shortcut. Optionally, you can add several different versions of that phrase. For instance, in addition to work time, you might use get to work or do work. In the bottom text field, type out the full command that Google Home should use when you speak the shortcut. For example, for work time, you would write something like turn on the office lights or play focus music on Spotify. Unfortunately, shortcuts are a little too simple. You would imagine they would allow you to string multiple commands together. They don't. And unlike with ift, you can't create a workaround for that by using the same short phrase across several shortcuts to connect multiple commands to a single phrase. That is a missed opportunity. What you can do is create a simple phrase that plays your favorite show on the TV without having to specify which Chromecast to play it on or that the show is on Netflix every time. Or you can send a text message to someone when you're running late. Again. For such uses, shortcuts are fairly useful and a step in the right direction. For more Google Home how-tos and other tips and tricks, be sure to check out cnet.com forward slash how-to.